Um, you know, whether it was schematically, or whether it was the best players, or whether it was as, you know, whatever it is, you know, we all felt like we could have played a better game, and, you know, we know we're a better team than that. What does it take for a fast start? So mm -hmm. you hear all the time, gotta start fast, gotta start mm -hmm. fast. What's the difference mm -hmm. in what we saw Sunday versus mm -hmm. what we've seen you guys do? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, for one, it can start from mentality going into a game, knowing that, uh, you know, knowing that it's going to be a hard fought game, first game of the season. Um, you know, you want to kind of have your mind already prepared to be able to expect anything. Um, but like I said, going into this this next game, um, you know, you've learned, you got your butt kicked. Um, you know, some of the things you know you can do better. Um, and going into this game now, you, you just want to make sure that you capitalize on all things, make sure that everything that you did last week you don't do again, that way that you can have a better outcome this next week. You know, what do you see from this Seahawks offense that clearly you know, led by Russell Wilson? Mm -hmm. Similarities, I would say, to Kyler. I mean, how do you prepare for this, this offense now coming off of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, really, you got to keep a, a open mind, an optimistic mind also as well. Uh, you want to continue to stay positive at the end of the day. Um, you know, one thing I know about playing in this league is that you're going to lose some, you're going to win some, but at the, at the same time, you want to make sure that, you know, you don't allow a game that you just played to, you know, come into the next one to, you know, keep you from being at your best. So um, I think that's the biggest thing. we got to be able to have some, uh, you know, short memories to be able to um, go out here and play a better game. That way we can get a win up on our belt and we can get some things rolling. You guys have done that in the past. You oh, no doubt. Some, some disappointing games. No doubt. Is, is that part of the culture that has been? Mm -hmm. I think it's more about us understanding that, um, you know, you're playing against another good team. You know, you got to bring it every each and every week. And each and every player knows that, uh, you know, what you do on that field and what you show on that film uh, you know, is important because, you know, going to the next week, you know, I'm pretty sure the Seahawks are going to be looking at that past weekend um, on some of the things that we did good and some of the things that we did bad. So, you know, you just got to kind of have a, b a better positive mindset going into this game and knowing that you've had history of going going back and lost a couple games and won a couple right after that. So, you know, we want to make sure that we, we get back on, you know, on our terms as far as winning and make sure we do everything we got to do to win this game. What is that better positive mindset? Mm -hmm. um, I would say, man, just making sure that we uh, execution would be the number one thing. Um, you know, having a better po positive mindset can be a choice thing. You know, each and every player chooses whether or not they want to go out there and play or not, or whether or not, you know, they're feeling good or bad. So I think that's really up to the individual. But at the same time, man, um, you know, holistically, I feel like everybody just needs to do better as far as, you know, just making sure we, we keep the chemistry going. Um, you know, don't allow a loss to separate the locker room. I mean, it's one loss. We've had past uh, situations from losing and, and came back and won. So um, just knowing those little things, I think that would be the biggest thing going into this game.